No balls and a strike. 276 the average coming in for him. 26 home runs and 78 RBIs. A one pitch on its way. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Here's a high pop up. Story is under it as he puts it away for round number one. With that, that here's a look at the Brewers starting lineup. b what That's do you got funny. on this lineup in the series well, opener? Well. Yeah, Maddie, this lineup has just gone cold. It happens from time to time, but somebody's going to have to create a spark. Hopefully, it's with the first two guys in the batting order. For the Brewers, Yosmani Grandal. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Prior to the at bat, a check on first, and he'll get back in safely. First pitch coming, here it is. Belted high and deep into right center. Hampson ranging back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting fourth, the left fielder, Ben Gamble. Into the box now, Ben Gamble. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. First delivery to him on the way. No. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Well, 2 and 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you could bet he's not going to hold back. The 2 0 outside, 3 and 0 now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light, he's one of the best hitters in your lineup. 3-0 pitch, and he loses him on a breaking ball. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just That's missed, it. and now the, the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Eric Thing. Coming to the plate now, Eric Thames. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's one for four. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, D-Row, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. One and one to count to the Brewers' first baseman. Set and the 1 1 hit on the ground down the first baseline. Two men are on with two men out. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field, but it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. 
as he arrives at second without a play as they jump ahead with a run that scoring on the play. The center fielder number two. Man, this is a continuation well, of the so great at-bats we good. saw in last night's game when they lit it up, seemingly scoring at will. Now that double brings in a run for an early lead here. They just keep on keeping on. In now is Lorenzo Kane as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, he finds himself in a tough situation early, and he's going to have to execute a pitch to get out of it. But if he does, it'll build confidence, and he starts rolling as the later innings start happening. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Gamel at third, Thames at second with two gone. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here, he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Liner toward right center. Blackman is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Brewers get a run on the RBI double. Home half of the first coming up at Coors Field and Milwaukee's off to an early one nothing lead. Zach Davies a Washington born right hander gets the starting assignment. What's your take on him Dan. Hey this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch not necessarily an overpowering guy has an ERA in the low threes but one thing he knows how to do he knows how to pitch and he knows how to minimize damage if you're going to have an ERA in the low threes in this day and age you're doing a lot of things right go. this guy should be fun to watch in this one stepping in Garrett Hampson he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first he's ready here's the first offering. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last 10 ball games. Yeah, Matty B, we're getting a look at a really good team right here, D Row. The only thing you hope they can do is to stay focused as the season winds down. They're a good team, and it looks like they could go a long way in the postseason. Dan, I've racked my brain trying to figure out what's the best way to go in. Clinch your division early, be playing good baseball, meaningful baseball down the stretch to get into the postseason bottom line is it's an 11 12 game sprint when you get in you want to be executing on all cylinders when you get in but anything can happen the 2 1 tries to bunt his way on here but this is a foul ball. The 2 2. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. Back gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he will make it there as the Rockies are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. When it left his bat, I thought right it field. might squirt foul, but Charlie. it hugged the line and found its way right in the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Into the box now, Charlie Blackman. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. First pitch on its way. And that's taken for strike one. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. He's just one for six. A runner at second, nobody out. Blackman behind, no balls and two strikes. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 0 2. 
is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Time now from Coors Field to take a look at the Rockies starting lineup. Nero, give us third. what you have on this lineup the as they start a new series. Yeah, Maddie, without question right here, this lineup's been struggling. Some bad approaches at the plate from top to bottom. They need the first two guys in the order to ignite this offense if they're going to have a chance of breaking out of this malaise. At the plate, Nolan Arenado entering play. He's ranked number six in the National League RBI race and with a chance to add to that total here. Yeah, that's kind of surprising to me. I mean, he's a good player, but I don't think many pegged him as one of the best run producers in the game coming into this year. But he's having a breakout year, no question about it. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. One out and a runner on second base. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitters count. Now the 2 0 home. Three and oh now. We're seeing a good A.B. here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Taking all the way and it's three and one now. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. The three one is taken for strike two. Hey I know it's early and we're in the first right here but he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. The three two pitch fouled off. And this one misses here a close pitch on three and two but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Yeah the guy's been on fire four. lately hitting anything close so stop. I think this is the Rubber. way to go here get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Trevor St lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit down the line at first. Here's the 0 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Well I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Got him reaching there strike two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Daniel Murphy will be next. He's set. Here's the three and two. Count still full. Three and two. Line toward right center, and he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. Long throw to the plate, and this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Batting fifth. 
the first baseman, Daniel. Stepping Murphy. into the box, Daniel Murphy. And the Rockies trying to hang even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. He's got three base hits in 17 at bats. Here it comes 1 0 to Murphy. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The 2 0 on the way is laid off, but in there for strike one. The 2 1. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as they'll move up only 90 feet. That but the good. bases are loaded with one baseball. away. Oh, yeah. Nice piece of hitting right there. Nick Looked like man. the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down. But eventually does get the third base. Here's Ryan McMahon now. No balls and a strike to count. They'll come in here at 259. Five homers and 29 driven in. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded, and there are two away now. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now, Sam Hilliard, as he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Here's the 1 0. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Ready with the 2 0. Left a change out there for him, but he missed it two and one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking change up. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. The set and the 2-1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Line drive to left. Gamble is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. So it's one run on three hits, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. On now to the top half of inning number two, all tied at one and one. Settling in now, Corey Spangenberg. In his career versus this pitcher, not great. He's one for eight. Spangenberg. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. This year against right handed pitching, Spangenberg is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first half he would pitch in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. 
Two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Now a curveball misses inside. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Fastball in there, three and two. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. All right, guys, so here's how the Colorado Rockies set up defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Trevor's story. We get it, big-time power, but also adequate on the defensive side. Taking over after Troy Tulowitzki left couldn't be easy, and Trevor's story did a heck of a job. Stepping into the box, Orlando Arcia. And as you take a look at this, actually, best season. First pitch coming, here it is. To short. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Got it done. The pitcher. That easy. So striding in, Zach Davies, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. A good fastball and he can't catch up three and two he was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one so so now we've got a battle on our hands something has to give here's the payoff pitch too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact bases are empty here with two men out And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. We knew coming into this Number game that 17. this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Ready for another chance. Number 17. He singled to start the ball game and later came around to score run. First pitch. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. A one and one count to the Brewers' leadoff man. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Here's a look over to first and a dive, but he's back. Davies is off of first with two away. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two.
And the 2 1. Fastball just missed above the zone. Mike Mustakis would be next. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Lifted the other way out to left center. Calling for it. Hilliard makes the catch and that'll retire the side Brewer strand one will go to the bottom of the second tied one apiece standing in Tony Walters and he's looking to turn the page the bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Walter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's ready. Here's the one oh. And it's fouled away. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that misses 2 and 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. So with your pitcher do up next, you can either have him bunt or you can even think about having him show bunt to draw the corners in and then let him swing away. Depends on how much confidence they have in him with a bat in his hands. Pickoff move to second, and he's back in standing. Standing in now, Antonio Senzatella. And he'll try and get his man to third here as he puts this one down. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So here's how the Brewers are positioned defensively. And let's number take a one. look at one of the most dynamic infielders in our sport, and that's Orlando Arcia. Playing up the middle, shortstop, premium position, cannon arm highlight real plays the ability to make the routine one as well the bat will continue to get better so it's back to the top of the order now and up steps Garrett Hampson to bat first pitch coming here it is now a change up but it misses just a little below the zone. A ball and a strike. And there's ball two now. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Heading out towards shallow right. Waiting on it, the right fielder. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The right fielder, number 19, Charlie. Here's Charlie Blackman, Blackman now. 0 for 1 here in the early going.
Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground out to short. Arcia gloves it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back at Coors Field in just a moment. So striding forward now, Mike Moustakis, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Even 1-1 one and one counts in Moustakis. The 1-1. One, one. Taken, strike two. One and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. And with in the race now in the National League West. The catcher, Yasmani Grandal. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Shot back up the middle. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish now lately. Trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. Oh. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 0 1 pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. The one two is taken oh. down and in for a ball. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended do you think. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. All even at two and two here it is high in the air out to center field. Hampson moves over makes the play and there are two gone now. The first baseman number seven Eric Thames. Digging in for his second at bat Eric Thames runner in scoring position with two gone. He's set. Here it comes. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And he misses with it one and one. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Oh. 
swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. The one two pitch and another foul ball. Grandal stands at second with two gone. That misses and we're even at two and two. Yank fouled off to the right. He set. The 2-2. Two -two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3-2. and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll score the run from second as they jump in front now, two to one. Boy, what now a bad. battle there, D. Several, several pitch at bat right through. there. He threw everything but the kitchen sink, and he was still able to get an RBI base hit. And Dan, I can't tell you, the longer the ABs go, usually I'll tell you, you get in that swing mode where if he throws the rosin bag, you're pulling the trigger on it. Wait for him to settle in his zone and not come outside of it and end up getting a knock. Into the box, Lorenzo Kane. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. The 1-1 one, one home. Misses Whoa. ball two. over to first and he'll dive back in here's the two one home takes out with three ball no reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now Now a throw over and the runner back safely. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. for the strikeout. Two hits lead to a run here for Milwaukee. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Brewers lead it two to one. Welcome back to Coors Field in Denver as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off the inning, Nolan Arenado. And they'll need him to get Rocky. something going here. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Change up too low and it's one and oh. One is taken for ball two. And right into the shift. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. How about it? Good stop. Bravo. Story. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies Trevor Story he singled his last time up. He's ready here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard down the line. Throw gets him two down. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. One and one to the Rockies first baseman. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. He's fallen behind now three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 3 2 pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The batter number 24. Second baseman. Stepping Ryan. up to the plate, Ryan McMahon. Nick 0 for Man. 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. First things first, here's a throw over. Runner is back. First offering on its way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. One ball, one strike to count. The one one. Hit out towards second. And a 
as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Rockies strand one. Our score remains two to one.